Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. The tale of the Kamchatka is one that is, uh, well, very, very fun to listen to and quite unbelievable. So let's see if we can recreate this situation. If you don't know what I'm talking about, link down below in the description to a video by Drickenifel. Now, this situation, or sorry, this scenario was sent in by Ivan the Terrified, and he says, During the voyage of the Russian 2nd Pacific Squadron, the repair ship Kamchatka disappeared for several days. After rejoining the fleet, the captain claimed to have fought off three enemy warships on his own. Your mission is to act out his unbelievable tale. Since the captain is clearly fantasizing, you may reimagine the Kamchatka as a light cruiser of the same size, 7200 tons displacement, built in 1903, so I need to reduce that a bit. Preferably sl rather slow and two different single funnels to match the original look. Let's assume the three enemies are Japanese torpedo boats like the ones they have fought and supposedly spotted in the North Sea. I'm fighting Russia in 1903. Uh, sorry, Russia. No, I am Russia in 1903. Japanese have 1906. Originally, the scenario calls for three torpedo boats, but I think that's a bit low. I'm going to go for five. And this will require that I dance around a lot of torpedoes because one torpedo hit can sink this light cruiser. Sorry, I mean transport ship, the Kamchatka. Um, let's get to designing. Right, so a light cruiser with a maximum displacement of 7,200 tons. 7,000 tons, that'll do. Now set up a main tower. Fortunately, I don't have too many options here. Uh, I don't, they don't even fit. What the hell? There we go. Uh, three different funnels. So let's go with an, an or two different funnels. Was it? Uh, checking two different funnels. And supposedly rather slow. Slowest I can do is about sixteen knots, which I think for a repair ship is actually fairly accurate. Um, I don't have a lot of updates slash upgrades for my engines, nor do I think I need it. I think the Kamchatka might have just had a basic steam engine, just being a repair ship. We're gonna go with coal. Uh, I already have, a, I already have a one hundred percent engine efficiency with natural boilers. That's interesting. I don't think it would have an auxiliary petrol engine, not necessarily. Armor. Well, it is a transport. Maybe they would give it a Harvey armor, but I don't think they would go with crypt levels. Barbettes? No, it's a transport. Uh, reinforced bulkheads? No. Let's set bulkheads to standard. Anti-flooding on the repair ship? I don't think so. Same for the Citadel. Um, more meta stats? If this is indeed the fantasy of the Kamchatka, then I imagine he might think he has heavy shells. As for propellants? We can go for Ballastite, Lidite 1 or 2. Um, this arguably is the best against those little ships. But he doesn't know exactly what he's being attacked by. Hence the entire confusion of the, uh, of the Kamchatka. So let's just stick with Ballastite. There is a 45% chance of a flash fire spreading on this ship. So I wonder if slash when I'm going to be losing my turrets. As for the rest... Um, Let's just go with the standards, because it is a really old ship. Rangefinder? Well, you're not really a combat ship, so you don't get a rangefinder. And as for the range, I'm going to set this to very long, because this ship is supposedly going to be making that trip towards Japan. And it would need very long range to do that. Main guns? Uh, much as the captain might like, I don't think that a 7-inch gun is going to be exactly what works on this ship. I think 4-inch guns are more likely. So let's set up a couple of 4-inch guns. Interesting firing arcs in these. Look at that, they can fire all across the deck and hit out to the other side. A bit unlikely, but maybe it's going to work. Uh, as for casemate guns... I can add a couple of 3-inch guns. And I think I already have the smallest guns here, the 4-inch. Yeah, I could put another one there. This is not going to fit. Because there's a uh, secondary tower in the way. And the rest here I'm just going to keep open. 
I might add another thin funnel just for the looks of it. But I won't add any more guns. I think I have enough guns as is. Now what I want to know is how quickly is this ship to turn? It has a turning circle of 409 degrees. It slows down massively in a turn. It actually turns pretty quick. 1.21 degrees per second. It only takes me 20 seconds to change course. That's impressive. Alright, let's see if I can take on five torpedo boats with the Kamchatka. So let's rename her to the Kamchatka. Starting range is very, very low. And this means that I'm probably going to immediately get torpedoed. Yep, there we go. Torpedo is immediately in the water. Uh, this could be a very short fight. Because I don't know if I can even avoid that first salvo. Here are these two. I'm going to have to try and cram the Kamchatka right through the middle of that. If I get hit once, I die. Because this thing has no bulkheads. No anti-flooding systems. Nothing. And that looks like... <laughs> <laughs> I might actually take a torpedo right from the start. No. The ship is supposed to be fighting off the enemy. I think the 4,000 meter starting range is too low. Because there's no way in hell that I'm avoiding that. Kamchatka is flooding. And... She's dead. <laughs> That was a fight that lasted a whole 90 seconds. Uh, do I edit this out or do I keep it in as a blooper? Um, let's just set the range to a bit more than that. Thing is, now I'm going to have to redesign my ship. Alright. Front tower. Rear tower. Uh, speed is low. Displacement is high. Range is very high. Bulkheads to standard. Went with Harvey. Heavy shells, main guns, four inch there, there. No, not actually not over, not everywhere because I still need to add the funnels. We had casemate guns, three inch here and there. We had the funnels. I think it was one enhanced funnel and a thin funnel. Uh, guns here, here. Oh, they can fit here. <laughs> this is, of course, way more guns than the Kamchatka had. And again, I'm going to run with the theory that this is what the Japanese, sorry, what the uh, Russian captain had in mind. So, I'm going to say this is the Kamchatka, and we're going to try this thing again. Provided that I didn't forget anything, but I don't believe I did. Round two. Range 8,000 meters. Oh, now I run into a different problem. I won't even see the enemy. Well, I suppose that's uh, <laughs> that's accurate for the Kamchatka. Uh, she mistakenly took uh, fishing boats as torpedo boats in the North Sea, because that's where the Japanese torpedo boats would be, of course. So what's going to happen now is that the Kamchatka is suddenly going to run into those transports. Uh, sorry, those torpedo boats. They'll probably see me way before I see them. Case in point, I'm getting shot at. But I can't even see from where. Here. Shit, is that 2.7 kilometers out? <laughs> we are, in fact, getting attacked by the Japanese. And the Kamchatka still has no idea what we're fighting. Oh, fuck. Hard to port. Even without a rangefinder, I still get a 1.3% accuracy. That's actually pretty impressive. Alright, you little torpedo boat, what do you have? Two torpedoes. And three funnels and two guns. And you just launched a torpedo at me. Or two torpedoes, in fact. Whoa, the Kamchatka actually hit it? I know that those two torpedoes are coming in, but I can't see them. And I think that because I'm making the turn, there we go, they shouldn't pose too much of a threat. Identification 68%. Go 
Good luck trying to hit one of those. I mean, she's trying. She's really trying. Seems like the deck's already flooded. Even without a torpedo hit, the deck is starting to flood. So we hit this guy about one, well, yeah, once. And knocked out an engine. They are still 23.7 knots. That's fast. Alright, the plan? Keep these guys at range. And make sure that they don't pose too much of a threat. Because the closer I get to them, the more accuracy I get. But also the less warning time. Because they just dump their torpedoes almost point blank. Like that. This wasn't point blank. But it was definitely a threat. Now they don't have a lot of reloads. So if I can just wait out their torpedoes and let them send all of them, and dodge all of them, then I can go in close and take them down. And that'll be the legendary tale of the Kamchatka. Well, legendary in the sense that she has fired quite a lot of shells already. <laughs> she hasn't hit once. In fact, she's taking damage from the 4-inch guns. 4-inch guns? 4-inch guns on those torpedo boats. That's actually a pretty sizable gun for a torpedo boat. And they're way more accurate than I am. Oh no. Um, no, Kamchatka wouldn't be able to set smoke screens. The Hito nose is getting reloaded. It's gonna take her another... 450 seconds... for two tubes. Jesus, that's a really long reload for two torpedo tubes. <laughs> I think the Kamchatka might actually lose this fight. At this rate, that is. Oh, there's go. Yep, we got him. One hit, one fire. <laughs> Engine's damaged, the Kamchatka's on fire. 1.7 clicks out, I need to start distancing myself more. Their accuracy is almost 5%, almost 6% on the 2-inch. Versus my 4... No, 1.3 1, 1 and 1.3. Technically... Well... Am I even bouncing stuff? <laughs> Rudder damaged, more fire. <laughs> and then another torpedo comes in. I don't think that this is quite how the captain had imagined how this fight would go down. Okinawa has launched her torpedoes. We're still identifying that last warship. The Kamchatka kind of series is going to burn down. Flash fire. <laughs> More flash fires. Is that going to spread? No. But I lost my starboard port. Oh, there goes another one. Turrets. Finally, another hit. Fuck me, another flash fire? And another. <laughs> you have to be kidding. Yep, there goes another one. That's the risk of the ballastite propellant. It has a very high chance. Oh, and another one. It has a very high chance of losing all your turrets. And another. Do I even have any functional turrets left? Well, not at this rate. There's another turret. <laughs> I think I have just one turret left. Not the original, what, eight? I have two on the port side. And that is it. All the turrets flew off the jet car. <laughs> Jesus. The enemy has already done 1100 damage versus my 139, and now she's gonna still eat a torpedo, probably. I wonder if I stand any kind of chance if I, if I equip the Kanchatka with a rangefinder. I still don't think it's gonna be particularly successful, but 
I'm gonna run the scenario again because I do want to try and see if this is going to work. If she has any chance against these fishing boats. Or supposedly fishing boats. Yudohashi looks like she's not quite ready on the torpedoes, but this one might be. Try and target this one. 1400 meters out, and the turrets are actually on the right side. another fire. That's not good news. The more fire I get, the more chances are that I'll pop another turret. Jeez, is she coming in for the ram or something? The Yodohashi over here. Rudder damaged. I already have two damaged engines. Are you seriously gonna ram me, little one? Finally, some damage. Speed on the Kamchatka reduced to seven knots. And dropping. Finally, fires. In which case, for the torpedo boat, it looks like the whole thing is on fire. Yeah, right. Ammo detonation. I got my ammo detonated by a four-inch shell. From a torpedo boat, of all things. It's not even a destroyer. It's just a torpedo boat. Well, Kamchatka's dead in the water. Speed, 4 knots. I can make a total of 4.4. And I haven't sunk a single ship, nor heavily damaged it. And here comes another torpedo. This one might actually be dodgeable, because I was already turning. Another fire. Looks like we might actually get one. Engine 3 damaged. I didn't even recognize I still had an undamaged engine. Speed, maximum of 1 knot. So that's going to put my turning circle very, very, very low at this point. Because I simply don't have the speed to get anywhere. Oh, I don't think I'm going to have the ship to get anywhere either. There comes the torpedo. Yeah, that's good night, Kamchatka. No way, she's... You survived a torpedo hit? <laughs> was that because the whole stern was already flooded or damage saturated? I still have my couple of 4 inch and apparently all my casemate guns. Which seem to be better protected against flash fires. Look at that, she's actually doing damage. But she's burning down again. I'm just getting disassembled by five torpedo boats. Albeit slowly. I think the Okinawa doesn't have any torpedoes left. The Sumida does. Hayabusa does. Itonose doesn't. Oh, the Yodohashi's flooding. Are we finally going to sink one? Nope, she stopped it. Alright, let's try this again. This time with a rangefinder to see if that makes any kind of a difference. We are fighting at very short range, so I need more gun based aiming speed. And ideally I would get 2 inch guns, but... I simply don't get access to those unless I take off the 3 inch casemates and replace it with 2 inch. Because I'm looking for faster firing guns, but so far it's not really working out. And the smallest gun that I can put is the 4 inch. The 7 inch arguably could do some damage, but fires every 21 seconds. And I'm gonna have to rely on the torpedoes, or oh, sorry, on the turret getting turned around the entire way. So, no, that's not gonna work. Alright, third attempt Kamchatka versus torpedo boats. This time they're immediately in range, but seemingly heading away. Accuracy 
If I can sort of chase them, and then have them turn around and chase me, then maybe I stand a chance. Whoa. That's a fairly aggressive greeting. Full torpedo spread of four tubes. Is that your doing? Yeah, these things come with four torpedo tubes instead of the two that I saw in the previous uh, iteration of these boats. These torpedo boats. I've done some damage, but these guys just keep disappearing at a range of about three to four kilometers out. But don't worry, the Valiant Kamchatka is going to chase down these fishing boats. Sorry, torpedo boats, I mean. There she is again. Hold on, let's not get too close. I still don't quite know when that ship is going to be capable of reloading and launching those torpedoes again. There's a fire coming in from this direction. Kazakura. Eight tubes. Oh, sorry, eight torpedoes. Do you have more than you normally carry? Not really. Standard complement of torpedoes. Probably because she has multiple tubes, she carries more torpedoes. Though to be fair, on a ship this small, I don't exactly know where you'd leave all the torpedoes. Getting a bit of damage in on the Kozakura, especially that engine damage could prove critical. But the damage on the Kamchatka just knocked out both of her engines. And that's going to reduce my speed to a whole 11 knots. 7 knots. I'm still getting shot at from every which way, but I still don't know from exactly where. Ah, there's another one. That's Kozakura again. You can bet your ass that she's going to be dumping torpedoes. Yep, she just launched them. Hard to starboard. Kamchatka was able to repair all engines, and she can now once again do about 16 knots. Alright, let's see if we can sink the Kozakura by going in very close before the Kozakura is able to launch another set of torpedoes. Rudder damaged. Chance to hit going up. A whole 11% on the 2 inch gun. That rangefinder makes a hell of a difference. Oh. I didn't quite see that one. And that's going to be the death of me. So I'm not sure how the original Kamchatka survived against the Japanese torpedo boats. But it might have had something to do with the fact that they were in fact not torpedo boats. And that they were fishing boats. Again, more about the tale of the Kamchatka down below in the uh, video description. Where you can find the link to Drakinifel's video on it. I can recommend it. It is a really funny watch. Anyway, um, three attempts, three fails. <laughs> I don't think the Kamchatka is going to be rejoining the, ja the Russian squadron anytime soon. Hope you got a good laugh out of this one. <laughs> I sure as hell did. And I'll see you guys soon for another video.